David Cohn back with the Jays. Looks sharp. Mark McGuire healthy again. Caught observing Dave Stewart, former teammate of Cohn with the Blue Jays. Gets rocked down 2-1 in the second. Devon White, Alex Gonzalez, Joe Carter, Stewart sent to the showers. Chris Eddy pitching. John Olroo, Sean Greenhead, Sprague, Devo. 11 runs second. Jays up 12-1. Then Cohn picks off Ricky. Jays roll. Devo drives in four runs in the second as the Jays tie a club record with 11 runs in the inning. They set the mark versus Seattle back in July of 84. For 11, Cal Ripken. But Ripken breaks that streak. Hopefully another streak of his won't be busted this year. And he got a couple of hits off David Cohn. Meanwhile, watch some defense. Who can make the catch? The Candyman. Candy Maldonado with a sliding catch. And in the seventh inning at the plate, back, 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 back off Bucina, gone. Two runs shot, but really the only two runs Bucina gave up. 3-2 Orioles when Cohn makes a mistake. Takes a little while looking. No, he throws. All hands are safe. And a 3-2 Oriole lead. Now two men on. Next man up, Raphael Emerson, Lake, and Paul Merrill. And oh, what a lucky man he is. It's toward the warehouse and gone. Three walks and the three-run homer by Paul Merrill. Cohn, uh, six runs, ten hits in his stint today. As Mishina wins for the first time, this year didn't look good last time out. The Yankees and the Blue Jays. Yanks, losers of three straight. Melito Perez on the hill in Toronto. And Ed Sprague goes downtown in the seventh. That would tie it up at two apiece. You know, there were five home runs in this game, and we are so committed, we're going to show every one of them to you. Two batters later, Devo, Devon White. He sends it out, and it's 3-2 Jays. Top of the eighth now. Pat Kelly facing Juan Guzman. Kelly hits a rope down the left field line, hits the foul pole into the stands. It's gone his first of the year. We're tied at three. Tony Castillo in for Guzman to aboard for New York. Jim Lairitz, not a home run, mind you, but a broken bat single to center. Tony Fernandez scores 4-3 Yankees. Bottom nine, Ed Sprague up against John Wetland. And there it goes again. His second of the game, we're tied at four. But in the 11th, Woody Williams giving up the two-run line drive homer to right to Bernie Williams. No relation. Five homers in the game. We show them to you. Yanks with a 6-4 victory. Right, he's against the lefty pitchers. It paid off early for the Jays. Ed Sprague, fifth homer of the year. Second in three days. Toronto up 5-2 in the sixth. Top of the seventh. The Yankees cut it to one with the bases fully occupied. Bernie Williams from the left side goes left field. And here comes Candy. All three runs score. Maldonado and the Jays blame the misplay on the lights. Yankees lead 7-5. Toronto comes back in the bottom of the inning. Joe Carter spanked third of the year. Lead cut to one. Next batter, Candy Maldonado. The candy man. And you touch them all, big guy. Every single one of them. You just hit a big league bomb. His second of the year ties it at seven. Top of the eighth, Danny Tartable on second. Deion James off Mike Timlin. Straight up the middle. Danny scores. Yankees would go up 9-7. But in the bottom of the inning, Toronto scores one. And with a runner on, Joe Carter loops one into center. Devo scores. Game tied at nine. Bernie Top Williams. of the ninth with a runner on, Danny Tartable. Broken bat Broken single, bat Bernie single Williams, motors, and base. Bernie Bring is safe. Front Yankees front front lead 10-9. Yanks had some insurance runs to make it 12-9. They almost blow it in the bottom of the ninth, but hang on to win 12-11. Steve Howe gets his first save. The two teams combined for 16 runs in the final three innings. The three-game series featured a total of 48 runs and 81 hits. Here it comes. There it goes. John Olerud against Kevin Gross. And that ball has gone one nothing. Jays. Just the beginning. Two on for Devo. That's gone. Three run shot. Next batter Domingo Cedeno, his first major league home run. Five to nothing. Toronto. That's gone. Hit it here and win a free suit. Although I can't guarantee it'll be like Brett's Armani collection. Dean Palmer trying his best to hit the target. He wants a suit. Two run over to left. Rangers score six in their half of the second. Palmer again. This one to right. He is versatile. A slugfest. And the Rangers win it 12-7. Rangers make it a three-game sweep of Toronto. Kevin Gross gets the win despite giving up seven runs in five-plus innings. Jeff Fry three for five for Texas drove in two. The Royals down a pair. Gary Gaetti. Comes through, base hit up the middle, scoring Tom Goodwin and Wally Joyner, and we are tied at five. Bottom eight, Paul Molitor leading off second. John Olerud slaps to left. John Nunnally, who's begging for people to stop calling him Joe, throw to the plate. Molitor safe.
and the Jays go on to win it 10-6. Gonzalez homered twice, drove in four as the Jays stopped their three-game slide. Kevin Apier won his fifth on Monday. Signed. Yeah, here's a 3-2 inside pitch. Freeze it. Strike three. Why don't you take a picture? Strike three. Get a roll of stamps and mail it in. Strike three. The whiff. Strike three. The woof. Strike three. Five strikeouts by Bob Hamlin. Cone and company. Back to Cone. Some controversy. Top five. High and tight on Tom Goodwin. It's a squeeze. And John Nunley is dead meat. Except they said they didn't tag him. Now let's look at this replay. How many things wrong with this picture? He's out of the baseline, and Parrish did two tag him, hit him with both hands. One of them had to be holding the ball. Nunley scored. Cito Gasson got taught, tossed. Doesn't matter because he's not the umpire, and neither am I, so we're wrong, and the umps are right. The Jays lost 8 to 5. So much for Cohn, so much for worries about Flash Gordon's health after he came off the DL. He gets the win. And so much for Ed Sprague's 16 game hit streak. He went 0 for 3. And the bad night for the Hats. Cleveland at Skydome. Paul Sorrento unloading, following up Manny Ramirez, 10th home run of the year. Second of the game for Sorrento. It's a three all game. That was a score in the eighth inning when Omar Vizquel unties it with the quickness of a solo home run. Pat Hinkin can't believe it. More on that in a moment. Later, Ramirez. Another souvenir, and they were flying out of the park left and right at Skydome. Vizquel's third homer of the week. He had only seven lifetime coming in, but Hinkin has a major league crook in his neck. Five. Baseball, Indians and Blue Jays, third inning, scoreless game. Bud Black on the mound. Thomas Perez, ground ball. Great stop by Carlos Baerga, who gets Perez at first. You want D? We'll give you more D. Fifth inning, Eddie Murray. Flare to left. Joe Carter makes the sliding catch. Still scoreless in the seventh. Here it comes. There it goes. We're not scoreless anymore. Lance Parrish. Three run shot off of Eric Plunk. Kerplunk. Plunk. Toronto three. Cleveland nothing. Your final. Parrish with 321 homers. 309 as a catcher. That's third best all time at the position behind Ben. Could tell you. Check him again, Dan. Oh, oh. Manny Ramirez to Windsor. His 12th of the year, tying Mo Vaughn for the American League lead. 17 last year, 12 this year. Indians leading 4-0. Charles Nagy going well. Ed Sprague, strikeout four times. Nagy had eight strikeouts of the day, but those are softball uniforms still. Bottom of nine, 5 3 Indians. Mesa faces Joe Carter and Alomar. They're not going to get him. 5 4 Indians. Blue Jays load the bases with one out. Mike Hargrove has the itch, but it's Eddie Sprague who scratches. 6 to 4. The three, and that's the ball game. Mesa gets his eighth save. So Sprague struck out four times and hit into the game ending double play. A bad day on the horoscope. 5 4 Indians. Mesa's eighth save. He had two of them in his first six years in the majors. Their first World Series and win it since 1920. Jason Grimsley get a good look because he wasn't there long. Walks Devon White in the first, walks Alex Gonzalez in the first, walks Paul Molitor in the first. Bases loaded. Next batter. This is unfortunately. Joe Carter. Carter Ground ball. Omar Vizquel can't get it, and they're not going to get him. 2 nothing Blue Jays. Still top of the first. Three on now for Sean Green, who's never hit a major league home run. This should count for about three of them. He hit the ball real hard. Grimsley lasts a third of an inning. It's 6 nothing Jays for Dave Cohn. But meet Eddie Murray. The two-run ding-dong to right. His seventh. Jays cut the lead to eight to Cleveland, rather. Cuts the lead to eight to five. Bottom of the sixth. It's first and second for Albert Bell. Hit the other way. That was a base hit to the opposite field. Here comes Scooter Tucker. Cone's gone. It's 8 6 Jays. Tribe fans counting down the 3,000 to Murray's, or the countdown of Murray's 3,000. Down the line and right. Here comes Bell. No, nope, they stop him at third. So Murray's at first with a single. The next batter is Jim Tomei. Still bottom nine. Ground ball to second. Tremendous stop by Alomar. Force play at second, but Bell scores his 8 to 7 Toronto. Cito Gaston hoping to get out of this. Tying run on Paul Sorrento. Darren Hall, it's deep, and I don't think there's any more ball game. Sayonara, two run homer. Paul Sorrento, his 12th of the year. The Indians win in unbelievable fashion, coming back from down 8 love. Sorrento, the unsung hero, though, Cleveland reliever Chad O.J., who had the longest relief stint in the majors this year in this game, six and two-thirds, but sadly he was not around for the rally, so O.J. Warren Newsom, off-speed pitch here. You get a very good look at it. Swing and a miss. They were scoreless through two. Bottom five, Jays up one nothing. two men on against Guzman. Lance Johnson at the plate. This is a long drive. Off the fence is Candy Maldonado. Can't pull it in. Scores Karkovice and Guillen. Shy Sox leading two to one. 
Rocky scores, Sox the Mets. Ahead to the seventh. Woody Williams pitching. There goes there Tim go. Raines, off and running, stealing his 33rd consecutive base. Raines setting the American League record as the Chai Sox win it 3 to 2. Lance Johnson, big game, 3 for 4. Jim Abbott wins 7 and 2 thirds innings for the victory. The Sox are now 3 and 1 under their new manager, Terry Bevington. Top four, game tied at three. Mike Huff trying to score. And they're not gonna. He's dead. Still tied at three. Bottom six, White Sox up 4 3. Warren Newsom over Joe Carter's head. Carter going back quite a bit. Joe can't come up with it. Newsom comes up with a triple. Newsom will score, make it 5 4. Just picking it up now is Mike Huff. Top nine, six four Sox, man at second. Roberto Hernandez facing Candy Maldonado, and he freezes him. Hernandez's 10th save. The Sox win it by the final of six to four. Chicago now four and one under Terry Bevington. Ventura, two hits, three RBIs, now has an 11 game hitting streak. Keith? Blue Jays trying to stop the slide at Chicago. Al Leiter looking strong, bottom of four, bases loaded. Facing the big hurt. And he grounds into the big five to five to across the diamond three double play. Sox still up one love. Two batters later, Brian Kaiser against Devon White and Devo whips it good. Gone. Right center field. Jays up two to one. They would win it four to three. Al Leiter recording his third straight win despite his scoreless inning streak being snapped at 23 and two thirds. John Crook, by the way, placed on the disabled list. So far in uh, Darwin. Why is he wanting six? Easy bunt play, he throws it away. Vince Coleman scores, one zip Royals. Then it's batting practice against Mr. Darwin. Shot up the box, opposite way. Let's pull one. KC up 4-0, Brent Main the RBI there. More than enough for Kevin Apier. He got better as the game progressed. First it's Devon White, have a seat. Roberto Alomar down on some heat, and then Lance Parrish, the fork ball, another seat. Bottom of the ninth, Apier looking to end this thing in style and get his second complete game of the year facing Sean Green and he blows Green away with some heat. Kansas City wins it 8-2. to two. Apier goes the route giving up just four hits. He struck out nine. That's right. Somebody yelled time. Cone thought there was time. They called a balk on Cone. Nobody knows what the heck is going on. They give Coleman second base on the balk. Ed Sprague moves from third to first, replacing John Olerud in a late inning switch. Why did they do this? Because we're in the bottom of the 10th of a 2-2 game, two on, two out, with Mike Timlin on. Why do they do it? Because it could happen that there could be a rough play at first. Yep, John Nunley's liner off Sprague's glove at first. Les Norman scored the winning run. Royals 3-2. Well, Olerud could have done that, certainly. Royals note, Bob Hamlin optioned. He was hitting 175 in 30 games. The Royals stay seven and a half behind the Tribe. Young Nunnally. With Roger Clemens on the hill for the Red Sox, up 2-0, facing Alex Gonzalez in the fifth spank. Two to one Sox, then it's Paul Molitor with baseball special moment. We're tied at two. In the sixth, still tied at two. Mo Vaughn invites Juan Guzman to the Hard Rock Cafe. Way back. And hey, we're trying to enjoy our nachos over here up in the hard rock. Well, fellas, maybe we shouldn't be eating any more nachos. To the 11th, tied at three, Troy O'Leary on second base, Mike McFarland in the shallow left field. And watch Alex Gonzalez. Shallow left center. Concentrating over the head trips over, Joe Carter makes the catch. Sparkling play to the bottom of the 12th. Joe Carter on third base is juiced. Gonzalez does it again. Carter scores, Jays win in 12. Gonzalez, a rookie, entered the game mired in an 0 for 18 slump. He said, I was hitting the ball hard during the slump. Now I'm getting hits. Speaking about first place, how about the Red Sox in Toronto? Mike Greenwell facing Pat Henkin. Greenwell hits the ball deep to right center, goes over the wall and comes back, but Greenwell thinks it's a double. Hey, Mike, feel free to take two more bags, and he would. Ruled a home run, 4 nothing Red Sox. Scary moment, though, in the seventh for Greenwell. Roberto Alomar at the plate. Hits the drive the other way to left, and Greenwell can't make the catch. Runs head first into the padding on the wall. Paul Molidor would come around and score. Taking a look at the replay. Greenwell apparently jammed his neck as he hit the wall. Straight on. And goes down in obvious pain. Greenwell would be carted off and at the end was able to give a wave.
right there. Red Sox win 11-7. Greenwell's taking him out. Sinai Hospital. Neck x-rays were negative. No. It's a rough first inning. Devo on. Paul Muller up. Grounder to second. Luis Alisair can't handle the rock, the pill. Yeah. White goes to third on the air. Two batters later, it's Joe Carter. Big Joe. The rip. White's going to score. Jay's up 1-0. Next batter, John Olroo. Slaps to left. Rolls to the wall to score Molitor and Carter. A double for Johnny. One more run in the first. Makes it 4-0 Jays, and they would win it. John Olroo, the talented toothpick said. The Blue Jays shorten their swings against Wakefield's knuckleball. Because the longer your swing, the more time a knuckleball has to move. Remember that. It's Wakefield's first American League loss. Two men on in the first. A Single to center. Juan Gonzalez scores as the Rangers put three on the board in the first inning. Then he says, give me some more Danny Darwin. And McLemore gets some more. RBI single, Ivan Rodriguez around to the plate. Rangers would go up six to two. Now, give me some glove. John Olerud up the middle. Benji Gill. Gorgeous, gorgeous diving stop, throws him out. 7-3, your final, Texas a winner. Darwin gave up six runs and lost his seventh straight start. The Rangers, they are hot, they've won seven of nine. Roberto Alomar played. Pavlik walks Domingo Cedeno, borderline pitch. Bases loaded in the fourth, Ed Sprague scores tied at two. Pavlik did not agree with Dale Ford's call. Pudge Rodriguez has a hand in Ford's chest. Will Clark has to restrain Pavlik. Johnny Oates comes out to say, throw me out, throw me out, throw me out. Okay, I'm going to throw you out. Still in the bottom of the fourth. Bases are still loaded. We move to further action. Roberto Alomar into the gap. Lance Paris scores. Cedeno scores. Molitor scores. Blue Jays go up 7-2. to two. And that's the way it ended. Guzman's first win since last August. This was the first time this year the Jays have won consecutive series. To Brewers at the Blue Jays, Pat Hankin, since his first start, has allowed 44 hits in 49 innings. Top of one, Kevin Seitzer, who leads the AL in hitting. Double. Darrell Hamilton scores. Brewers up one zip. Top of five, tied at three. Hamilton smacks it down the right field line. John Olerud down the line. Knocks in a run. Brewers go up 4-3 and will win 5-3. Kevin Seitz, who was talking about retiring at the end of the season, goes 4 for 5 and is now batting 374. Seitz enjoyed the time with his family during the strike. Brewers and Blue Jays at the dome, top of four. What we have here is a high fly ball to left field. Joe Carter settling under it to and the inning, but he has not found that ball in the lights. It's ruled a double. Greg Vaughn scores. Now game tied at six. Carter on third. Ed Sprague grounded a short. Valentin comes home. Carter ruled safe at the plate. Maybe, maybe not. Blue Jays up seven to six. Top of nine bases loaded. Valentin golfs one off of Mike Timlin. Park does not hold that. Grand slam. And the Blue Jays up 10 to eight would win at 10 to nine. Kevin Seitzer has nine hits in his last 18 at bats. He's hit safely in seven straight. Robbie Alomar's hit safely in 13. Darwin had a really bad second inning, though. Jose Valentin, solo shot, right field, 2-0 Brewers lead, and Valentin and his friends are not worthy of him. Next batter, Fernando Vina, gets hit by the pitch. Phil Garner doesn't like it, but he does like this. Daryl Hamilton, two-run shot to right. We're in the same inning, 4-0 Brewers. Danny Darwin's nightmare continuing and continuing. Two batters later, Greg Vaughn launching that one to left field inside the pole, and Darwin gives up three home runs in one inning, and generally when you do that, you don't win, and he didn't. Brewers win at nine to love. Steve Sparks combining with the bullpen for the four-hit shutout. Darwin lost his eighth consecutive start dating back to May 6th. Mike Timlin, Darren Hall, and Dwayne Ward all went on the DL after the game. Oh, this top of the first for Joe Carter, who homered on Saturday and homered on Sunday off Sperling Hitchcock. It's a nightmare. Carter's eighth of the year, and the Jays are up two to nothing. Can they break the losing streak? One problem, Pat Henkin has loaded the bases in the fourth, and he's tied at two, and he's facing Randy Velarde, and he just walked him inside. Seven walks, eight hits in six and two-thirds. The Yankees are leading 3-2. Bottom five, they're threatening again. Paul O'Neill is Joe Carter a one-man team. He thinks he has to be. He dives on that one. Bog scores. Deion James, just back from Japan or somewhere, also scored. Then Carter injured his neck, had to leave the game. Meanwhile, this just in. This just in, the Devils have moved to Yankee Stadium. 
The Yanks get their fourth straight, also their first three-game sweep of the season. They've also beaten Toronto five straight times for the first time since 86. One the last place Blue Jays and first place Red Sox. Here it comes. There it goes. Tim Nairing in the second taking Al Leiter deep solo shot. One to nothing Red Sox. To the eighth we go. Sox up three zip two on for Toronto. Eric Hansen facing Joe Carter. Swinging strikeout. Ends the threat and the inning. And Hansen gets some high fives. In the ninth two on again for Toronto. Hansen leaving. After eight shutout innings, Stan Belinda, Stan the man, I'm afraid not. Mike Huff with a single down the left field line, two runs score, and we are tied at three. In the ninth, Mike Greenwell, aggressive on the bases, steals second to get into scoring position. That would be huge. Luis Alisea, single to left. Candy Maldonado, who had just moved from right to left. The throw to Rosie. Greenwell scores. Good night. Game over. Drive home safely. The Sox win at 4-3. Toronto has now lost seven in a row as the Red Sox up there leading the East to five. One homer in the first. To the fourth. Roberto Alomar tries to get it back off Roger Clemens. Troy O'Leary goes into the bullpen to take it away. O'Leary would later homer himself. To the sixth. More socked by the Sox off their last year's teammate Danny Darwin. Mike McFarland knocks in Vaughn easily. Here comes Timmy Nary. The five hopper, he beats the throw. Socks up five to one. In the seventh, Roger Clemens struck out the side, but in between, trouble. Angel Martinez hits it far away from O'Leary to get his first major league homer. Suddenly it's a one run game. In the eighth, Ken Ryan on a relief. He can't hold it down. John Olerud, who's hitting 130 in this seven game slide. Molitor's going to beat the hopper by Greenwell, tied at five. Same score in the 11th. Bill Hasselman, bearded, gone. Not the place Woody Williams wanted to put it. He had four and a third inning of no hit relief. His only mistake was a huge one. Hasselman hit it out of the park on a cracked bat, which Johnny Pesky called the gall darndest thing I ever saw. It's the eighth straight time the Jays have failed to get Cito Gaston his 500th win, a streak that started on June 18th, the same day a 10-game loser began last summer. The Red Sox have now blown 10 saves, Ryan three of those. ...list following problems with his shoulder, smoke for Alex Gonzalez, then Joe Carter, yes, bam indeed, homer to left is ninth, one nothing Jays. Carter again sends it high and deep, and Sid, who's from Hawaii, knows aloha means goodbye. Three nothing Jays. Fernandez would leave, and it was a home run derby. Roberto Alomar, a two run shot to left. Five nothing Jays in the seventh. Juan Guzman, bases loaded for Curtis Goodwin, swing and a miss. He fans seven. The Jays win at 5-1. Guzman scattering seven hits, posting his first complete game of the season.